We are back with another video. All right, your boy Young, P-Town, Mr. Kicks and Fits, and I'm back in the building with another video. As y'all see from the title of this video, we have my top 10 sneakers of 2021. All right, this is my list. We just gonna hop right into it. I got two honorable mentions. First honorable mention, wow the Jordan 13 uh, Starfish. This was my first pickup in 2021. Got these under retail. Glad to have the shoe. In my opinion, very underrated pair of shoes right here. These are dope. My second honorable mention, bow, is the cool gray 2021 pair. I know y'all like, what? Hey, I already got the 2010 pair. I was excited to get this pair, glad they had it for retail, but it just, you know, this just an honorable mention for me, like I already had them. So, but I'm glad to have this pair, it's a clean pair. All right, so now number 10, we start my list. Bow, right here, the Midnight Navy Jordan 3s. Love this colorway right here. Jordan 3s are my third favorite uh, Jordan silhouette of all time. So yeah, this had to be on the list. These right here are clean, clean shoe right here. Wow, number nine. Wow, these red Flint 13 boys right here. I love the way how this red and gray pop looks, excuse me, looks good together. These are dope. These are dope right here. In my opinion, very underrated shoe. These right here are crack. <laughs> number, that was number 10, number nine. Number eight. Wow, these boys right here, these, uh, Electro lime, uh, electro green uh, sixes. In my opinion, very, very, very underrated shoe. I love the way these two colors pop on here. My only gripe on this shoe is I wish that the Jumpman in the back uh, had the electric green, and I wish that the Jordan up here was in electric green. Had it had that, this would be a lot higher on my list. These are cracked. Number seven, bow, these boys right here. When these boys right here drop the Jordan uh, Shadow 2.0, when these boys drop right here, everybody was uh, talking about the quality on them. Um, I kind of get what they mean is like this toe box because it, it is going to like, it's going to crease. It's kind of like that uh, Crimson Tint. If you got the Crimson Tint Jordan 1, it's kind of like that toe box. But the materials on this shoe, in my opinion, they're they're very underrated like it's a pretty it's pretty good like i really like these a lot glad to have this shoe this colorway just pops like these, these are nice so this was number seven number six whoo whoo yeah those uh raging bulls i never had the raging bulls always wanted the raging bulls glad to have them in the collection um these these is these is clean these is clean i gotta get some wears in them I haven't, uh, as you see, I haven't worn them, but yeah, these, these are definitely getting worn. Number five. Woo! These boys right here, hometown. That's all I need to say. Jordan 1 Pollen's hometown. These are dope. That's it. Nothing else to say about that. Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> Number four. This right here, the Life Fusion Red Jordan 1s. This right here is my favorite Jordan 1 to drop this year. I love the colors on this shoe. Only problem with this shoe is that I paid resale for this shoe. I know, I know, I should have waited. Um, I never paid resale. I paid resale a couple times this year. I hardly ever pay it. This was a shoe that I really wanted. I was on vacation. I jumped out the window when they dropped because I didn't hit. And had I just waited a month or two, I could have gotten this shoe at retail and it's going below retail, but that doesn't matter. I'm just glad to have it. But these right here are dope. So this is my number four. Number three. Yes, the Jordan 1 Amon Monnier. I had to have this shoe right here. Glad to have hit resale. So shout out to Social Status, James Whitner making a dope collab 
Uh, these are dope. I have a review of this shoe on my channel, so just check it out and you can hear my thoughts and opinions there. Number three, wow, the Freshwater Griffey. Now, I already own this shoe, but I own the 2011 pair, but this shoe right here is very special to me. Uh, when my granddad was alive, he hooked me, he let, he gave me money to get the 2011 pair. So, and I still have that pair. So when these drop, every time I think about it, the memorizing of him, I had to have this shoe again, cause I just wanted a new pair, but also because Griffey is his favorite player, baseball player, it's my favorite baseball player as well. This, this right here, very sentimental to me. So I had to have these again, glad to have them. Yes, number, uh, number three. Or number two, number two. And the number one shoe, it's a twofer. If you follow me on social media, you media, you already know how I feel about these. Boop, you got milk. I do. Yes, the social status donk. Chocolate milk and strawberry milk collab. This to me is the best shoe of this year or best shoe in 2021. This was the best collab in 2021. Do not at me. This was the best collab. James Whitner was knocking these collabs out of the park. So glad to have this shoe. I had to pay resale for, or I paid resale for the chocolate milks. Got the strawberry milks for retail, but that will conclude my list. All right, y'all. So if you like that video, uh, hit my hit if you like my video subscribe to my channel hit a like do all that stuff you can follow me on social media it's going to be down in the description below and we are out of here y'all peace